Hello students, let's do fundamental concepts in algebra. In algebra, we use letters along with numbers. And the letters that we use in algebra are called variables or we simply call them literals. Now, when we have to write a given statement in the algebraic form, as we are going to do in this exercise, now we have been given statements here, is it a different statements here? Now, when we write it in the algebraic form, we use signs and symbols. And the meaning of the signs and symbols are the same as it is in arithmetic. So now let's write these mathematical statements in the algebraic form. Remember, when you write an algebraic form, we don't use words like the sum and equal. We don't use words. Instead, we use symbols or signs to represent these words. So let's begin. The first one, the sum of 8 and x. Sum means addition. So sum of 8 and x means 8 plus x is equal to y equal to y. So can you see we have not used any word here. We have only used signs and symbols along with the numbers and the variables. Next one, question 2. x decreased by 5. Decreased means it's going to become less, isn't it? So that's minus x decreased by 5 is equal to y. So let's write that x minus 5 is equal to y. Next one, the sum of 2 and x is greater than, greater than y. So the sum of 2 and x means 2 plus x is greater than, we use the greater than sign, greater than y. Question 4. The sum of x and y is less than 24. So the sum of x and y means x plus y. The sum of this is less than 24. Let's go on to the fifth one. 15 multiplied by m gives 3n. So 15 multiplied by m gives means equal to gives 3n. Now we can write this in another way. 15 into m, we can write it as 15m. It's the same as 15 into m. This is equal to 3n. Question 6. The product, product also means multiplication. Product of 8 and y is equal to 3x. So let's write that. Product of 8 and y, that means 8 into y is equal to 3x. We can also write this as 8y is equal to 3x. Next one, question 7. 30 divided by p is equal to p. 30 divided by b is equal to p. So let's write that. 30 divided by b is equal to p. This is one way of writing. Another way is 30 divided by b. We can write it like this is equal to p. Next one, z decreased by 3x, that means minus z minus 3x is equal to y. So we are only using signs and symbols and no words when you write an algebraic expression. Question 9, 12 times of x, that means 12 into x times means multiplication is equal to 5z or we can also write this as 12x is equal to 5z. Tenth one, 12 times of x, same thing, 12 times of x means multiplication is greater than, so put the greater than sign, greater than 5z. So this is how you write. Now, 12 times of x, the 11th one, 12 times of x, so let's write that, 12 times of x is less than 5z. Question 12. 3z subtracted from 45. Now here you have to be careful. 3z subtracted from 45. That means 45 should come first. 45 minus 3z is equal to y. So let's write that. 45 minus 3z is equal to y. Question 13. 8x divided by y is equal to 2z. So 8x divided, so you can use a division sign, divided by y is equal to 
to z or you can write 8x divided by y is equal to 2z. 13. 7y subtracted from, again you have the word from, from 5x. That means you need to write 5x first. Whatever comes after the word from in subtraction, that should be written first. Gives means equal to. So let's write that. 7y subtracted from 5x. So 5x to come first. 5x minus 7y gives means equals 8z. Question 15. 7y decreased by 5x. So it's simply decreased by 5x. There's no word from here. Gives 8z means equals 8z. So 7y decreased means minus 5x is equal to 8z. Question 2. For each of the following algebraic expressions, write a suitable statement in words. So, this is the first algebraic expression. As you can see, there are no words here. We have to write a statement expressing this one in words. So, wherever there are signs, we're going to replace those with words. So, these are all the algebraic expressions given to us. There are five algebraic expressions here and we're going to write this in words. A mathematical statement. So let's begin with the first one. First one 3x plus 8. So this is 3x plus 8 is equal to 15. You can also say the sum of 3x and 8 is equal to 15. You can also say 3x plus 8 gives 15. All these mean the same. Let's go to the next one. Now this is 7 minus y is greater than x or you can say 7 decreased by y is greater than x. There are different ways of saying it. 7 decreased by y is greater than x or you can simply say 7 minus y is greater than x. Next one 2y decreased by x as you can see 2y decreased by x is less than 12. Or you can say 2y minus x is less than 12. So you can use the word minus also. Fourth one, 5 divided by z is equal to 5. So we can write that 5 divided by z is equal to 5. Next one, a plus 2b is greater than 18. Or you can say the sum of a and 2b is greater than 18. You can also say A increased by. Increased means addition. Decreased means subtraction. So you can also say A increased by 2B is greater than 18. You can write any one of these statements. So A increased by 2B is greater than 18. Let's go on to the next one. Here also we have algebraic expressions 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Let's look at the sixth one. Now here we can say 2x minus 3y is equal to 16 or 2x decreased by 3y is equal to 16. Instead of the words is equal to, you can also say gives. So 2x decreased by 3y is equal to 16. Next one, 3a minus 4b is greater than 14 or 3a decreased by 4b is greater than 14. Next one, b plus 7a is less than 21 or the sum of b and 7a is less than 21. Any one of these you can write as we have written one of these b increased by 7a is less than 21. Next one, the sum of 16 and 2a minus x is greater than 25. The sum of 16 and 2a, especially when it's in brackets, use the words the sum of. The sum of 16 and 2a decreased by x is greater than 25. Okay, so like I've written here, the sum of 16 and 2a decreased by x is greater than 25. Next one, the sum of 3x and 12 minus y is less than 3a or 
the sum of 3x and 12 decreased by y is less than 3a. So, the sum of 3x and 12 decreased by y is less than 3a. With that, we complete exercise 13a. Next, we will be doing fundamental concepts, exercise 13b. Thank you, children.